In June 2021, about 5 million trees were planted under the Green Ghana Project, an initiative that is aimed at restoring the country's depleting forest reserves. A report conducted by National Intelligence Bureau, NIB, on the project indicated that 85% of the over 5 million seedlings planted are still thriving. Although it is believed that most of the trees died due to inadequate supervision and improper nurturing. Meanwhile, phase two of the initiative has been launched across the country. In the Adental municipality of the Greater Accra region alone, about 15,000 trees were distributed to be planted at various homes, schools, institutions, churches, among others. Speaking to Ghana Districts TV, the municipal chief executive of the area, Daniel Alexander Ninoy Adumwa, further explained the rationale behind behind the nationwide exercise. The Adenta Municipal Assembly is taking um, this very seriously. We've organized ourselves and we've just come to do some planting in the post office area. Last year, we planted some trees. This particular tree behind me was planted last year with a team. Some of them, and you can see a lot of them around there, have survived. Some of them didn't, and we are replacing them and planting new ones around here. We'll be giving them some fruit trees as well. These ones are ornamentals that will flower and make the place beautiful. But the whole idea is to green Ghana and re forests the place. This may not be forest grounds, but as we put new trees around here and increase the green uh, cover, we would also be mitigating the changes that we are finding in our climate. You see that the rains are heavier now. The, if they are, the winds too are getting very strong. If there are trees, they will, they will form shields and break the wind speed. Again, they will prevent a lot of erosion uh, in various places. And also, they will soak up the water that is coming as a runoff and it will reduce the amount of water that is going out. We will be planting today uh, but we've organized ourselves in our various zonal councils. We've got four zonal councils. And each zonal council has a leader. The assembly members will be in their various zonal councils. Um, the officers of the assembly have all been distributed. NADMO, um, AGRIC, um, all the various departments and the various units have representatives in each of the four um, zona councils. They'll be planting along streets to make sure that we get um, some shade trees that will flower and we are planting if it's casia all along a particular stretch and when they flower and it's green, uh, yellow, they will all be yellow along that particular stretch. It is also supposed to help those who are pedestrians to have some shade to walk under. The whole idea is that Adenta must look like a forest if you are having an area view. If the whole place is covered and we have a lot of greenery, it is not only going to help you, it will help me as well and it will help the environment. And the beds of the air would find shelter, the rain when it's coming will be sympathetic to our grounds. We as people will benefit from this and the sunshine when it's shining hard will be able to stand under a tree that has grown for all of us. On the issue of ensuring nurturing and proper monitoring of the trees, the chief executive also disclosed that a new app has been launched by the assembly to ensure this purpose. But we do have an app now, right? And the app, after we've planted, we'll be able to, um, when we engage it, be able to tell us where we have planted and the coordinates. So from time to time, even if you are not the one who planted, we'll be able to have a means of letting you go to that particular plant and find out whether it has survived and is doing well. So this is what we have also put together to make sure that all the 15,000 uh, seedlings that we have are accounted for. But I must say that not all the seedlings are of the same age. Some of them look a little weak but we will nurse them. We will turn into nurses and bring them to life and keep them alive. At the Adentown post office, where the first tree was planted, it was evident that all trees that were planted under the initiative in 2021 had survived and well taken care of. Madam Georgina Donko is manager for Ghana Post, Adentown branch. 
it is a good decision the government has taken. And as a government institution, ours is to nature the plants. Last year, about five were planted here, and you can see them all over. Every morning we water them, we are nurturing the plants, and we believe those which have been planted today too, uh, we won't relent in our efforts in making sure, by the grace of God, that the plants will blossom, like those planted by the riverside. And the government's in intention or initiative to green Ghana will be a reality. Okay. Thank so you. when you're speaking to Chief, uh, he made mention that some of the trees died off. When we come to Ghana Post in Adentan, it is evident that whatever you planted here is doing well. What happened? What do you we nest them. We committed someone to do it to them. Every morning we water them and we, we trim the trees too. So you can see all of them. Some have dried anyway and maybe it's because of the nature of the plant we had. But um, frankly speaking, we've done our best in nurturing the plants. So what do you have to tell your colleagues who are in similar positions like you to take care of trees? that are They should there? take the project as their own baby and uh, be in consonance with the government to ensure that the plants um, grow and to green Ghana. On her part, the assembly member for Bantana electoral area, Ella Esinam, lauded the initiative and called on residents to actively support the project. As you all know, today is Green Ghana. We are making sure that we plant a lot of trees to provide more oxygen and then also to, I mean, stop um, soil erosion. So today we've all gathered here in our numbers to make sure that each and every one of us plants a tree. We are not just planting and leaving, we'll just plant and make sure that we water and take very good care of them. So as for me as an assembly member, this means a lot to me. I'd encourage everybody to come out, especially um, our residents. They would also benefit more from this, so I'm encouraging everyone to come out first to plant trees. The exercise also took place at Amasaman and its surrounding environs in the Ga West municipality. About 5,000 trees are expected to be planted this year. Mr. Clement Wilkinson is municipal chief executive for the area. This particular one, we have about 20,000 uh, trees that we have to plant and we are asking everybody to come around the municipal assembly. We, we have a pickup going around with some of the Sydney's too. So if you want to plant some, we just call the pickup, we stop them, you can pick some. It's not for sale. So this is what we are doing. And we are representing the, the president, his excellency, the Nandu Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and the entire government to do the cleaning Ghana, which in our West, we are much involved and we are doing our best. We always go around and make sure we look at those plant, uh, plants, that trees that we planted them, that most of them are still alive. Why am I saying this? Uh, even human beings die when you are born. So we will not get 100% of the trees alive uh, because of the soil where you put it, it, it depends. But I can I can tell you we have more than 85% still alive. Because if you look at this particular sample, those that we planted them here, they are still alive. Yes. Okay. But if you go to the schools, some places, you see, maybe if they planted about 30 or 40, you see 20 or 25 are still alive, some are dead. That is why we have to replace them and uh, keep on watering them to make sure Meanwhile, the Gun West Assembly also seized the opportunity to present 200 dual desks to the Municipal Education Directorate for onward distribution to some selected schools in the area. According to the Assembly, the move is expected to help promote quality education, especially at the basic level.